What's going on guys? So welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to start trying to put the roll cage together and we'll see how far we get. So uh, I've been spending a lot of time working on getting the main hoop fitted, fit, fitted in here on the platform. So I had the seat in there to see where my head is going to fit against the halo. Um, so took spent a lot of time trying to get everything fitted right. It was quite a bit of a pain. But um, I think I got it pretty much where I need to be because um, the bars in the back will be able to connect easily and the main hoop fits in there pretty good. Basically, I'm just trying to figure out how to do it the easiest way and being able to weld everything um, and not have to struggle welding it while it's inside the car. So the directions say to get the main hoop um, in there and how you want it and then put the the halo where you want it to and then mark it and for me that's kind of where the halo needs to go right up on here so i marked it on both sides and this halo was a little bit too tight too narrow or too wide uh, so i just used this ratchet strap to bring it in just a little bit so now i need to go ahead and notch notch these ends and get it fit up on the corners here that there and there get it fit get it notched and that way this will fit um, the main hoop sits at about a 12 degree angle so I'll probably prop this up um, because it's not flat so it's at a, a little bit of an angle so I'll set this up measure it and then uh, notch this tube here. And then uh, we'll have to see how it fits in the car and then hopefully it fits good and then we'll tack it in. All right, so I just uh, put the hoop up against, I, I got my angle set up here and I measured it with my phone. So it's at the right degrees that I had it in the car. And then I set this on there, had to ratchet it pretty tight. And I got basically the notch that I need to create. I don't have a tube notcher. So I'm just gonna do the best I can. And I watched a YouTube video and the, he basically showed Mark where you kind of don't want it to be the center of where you don't want it to be notched, the center of where you do want it to be notched and then directly on the other side of that. And then measure back a half an inch and then connect the two. And then that's basically gonna be your, your notch. And then you do the same thing to the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grind this off and then we'll see how it fits. All right, so a little update here. I am still trying to get these notched uh, correctly in order to fit on the main hoop. So I got it to fit pretty good up on the corners where I need it to. So now I'm trying to notch it and it's taken a lot of time to get it notched correctly because because this is at an angle um, this side of the notch is going to be deeper than this side of the notch in order for this to stand straight up so um, I just keep shaving some off test fit it shaving test fit so that's what I'm doing but my buddy came over and I actually did something I had not done yet was I welded his diff so uh, he's got a beamer he's gonna start drifting he's rebuilding and basically the first thing to do on a drift beamer is to weld the diff so this is my first time doing it but that's basically it welded in basically every every section you can and then before we put the plate in there I welded the gears in all four locations then put the plate in and got it all welded up and we did do the, the other side of it get this spun around it spins nice still and this is the other side this side had a little bit more slag on it so we took the grinder and ground the slag off of it but um, there she is shouldn't be going anywhere used the max amount of heat so much heat that it was kind of met in, melting the gear metal so i mean full penetration 
afterwards these uh these pieces here were were even hot to touch so it got hot and it should last should last forever so we'll see hadn't done that yet i'm planning on doing that to the r200 the datsun diff um because lsds are expensive and they don't work as good as uh, a welded diff so that's what i'll probably be doing but haven't got there yet so still trying to get this in and i'll uh, update you here soon all right so after a lot of uh cutting and grinding and measuring and test fitting in and out in and out of the car um just got the uh the halo tacked on to the main hoop so um just put two tacks here on the top side and then one tack down on the bottom they should hold if the hoop is not in the right spot i'll be able to just grind them off but uh it's tacked so now time to go ahead and um put it in the car and see how it fits so all right so uh, the last clip that you guys saw i had just finished tacking it uh the the halo to the main hoop and i was going to test fit it well let's just say that it did not fit as planned um i got pretty frustrated with it of course i did a lot of measuring and everything i was pretty excited to put it in there and then it didn't fit so i was pretty frustrated so i kind of just walked away for a little bit you know you get frustrated with it you should just walk away take a break do something else for a little bit so that's what i did um i cut the tacks off just fine they weren't heavy or uh too hot or anything so cut them off easy sanding them down and now I've got the cage in the car. Basically what happened before is I don't know what I did wrong. I measured everything. I measured all the angles, the degrees, the degrees this was supposed to be at, how far laid back, everything. For some reason, this pipe was like way down here. Uh, it's at, right now it's kind of like laying low, but it, it should be kind of up further, kind of like that. But it was like way down here at the front. Like I just don't understand how it was that low. Uh, and I even took the the level and it was at zero. So I just don't understand. But uh, I got I got it in the car now. It fits the way it should have fit before. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and prep it again. I'm gonna tack it while it's in the car. So um, you know, you live and learn. Uh, maybe I should have tacked it in the car first. But I just don't have as much room as I would like to get to tack it but uh you know uh i'm able to try again and hopefully it'll it'll go better this time so try it again okay so i just got the hoop tacked into the uh halo so these are tacked together now uh kind of up there at the top i got three tacks on it one's in there um so i mean that's pretty much how it's going to be um there's a little angle downward angle i was looking at pictures on google to see like how other people did it because i was told that you kind of want to keep this level um but this is really just not feasible in this car because i mean you can see the car it angles up so um, i kind of did the same thing so that's how it's going to be uh now i am working on getting this uh this a pillar um pipe here and my girlfriend came up with the idea but basically we got a toilet paper roll and started notching this out because it's going to be quite a custom notch because there's a big curve and then it, I mean you can kind of see we're going to have one side that's really um, notched and then one side that's not so doing it on this first and we'll transfer this over to the metal so Let's get it done. All right, so I just made a pretty huge decision about uh, the roll cage and my future plans. Um, so I intentionally bought this full roll cage basically to put a full roll cage in the Datsun, but I've been spending a lot of time trying to get it to fit right. Things just aren't lining up. And you know, 
I was reading some forums and somebody said, if you don't build your cage exactly the way you want it, you're not going to be happy with it. And it's just not going to be fun to drive a car if you, if you can't get in your car with a cage that suits you. So I am going to ditch the full cage option and I am going to stick with basically the rear hoop, the X, the harness bar, and I am going to go with uh, basically braces from the main hoop to the strut towers. Um, it's just going to be easier and I mean this isn't going to be a drift car I pretty much made that decision today it's going to be it's just going to be a, a street car I mean I'm not going to be taking it on the drift track banging doors with other people that's not what I want with this car I want it to be a nice show car but safe so um, now basically what I need to do is I wasted a lot of time. I wouldn't say wasted, but I spent a lot of time trying to get this all to fit together. Basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut my tacks off for a second time. Um, grind it down. You won't even see that anything's happened here. I'm going to put the hoop back in the car. Get a new angle for it because the main reason I had it angled the way it was was so that the halo would fit in there. Um, and so that everything else would fit. So, you know, basically time to start over. Uh, hopefully this is going to take some le less time because I'm so tired of working on this cage, but I mean, it's got to be done right. So just going to go with the horn, uh, the, the main hoop, basically a half cage. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on that and uh, get to work. All right, so I'm not really too sure where this video is going to go since I basically spent half my time trying to get the full cage prepped and ready in, the, in there. Uh, now I just thought I'm not going to do that. So I guess the first order of business, which I kind of already did, was I started making these uh, top plates to fit over the gap here. So I cut some uh, pretty big plated uh, steel and kind of got it mocked up in there um still needs a lot of a lot more work but it's kind of the general idea so i'm going to start shaving down the edges and uh get them fitted on there pretty nice um and then possibly go ahead and weld them because my plan is to i mean have the main hoop here um the harness bar and then there's going to be an x um and then also I'm going to have one bar from the main hoop coming down to the uh, strut tower. Um, so that's kind of my plan with that. I, I might add a few more bars, like maybe one between the two strut towers and then possibly one from this area here, put a plate on the strut tower there and then come back, back here maybe. I'm not sure about that one, but maybe one from side to side um, so yeah that's I'm gonna go ahead and start working on that all right so I just got both of these plates here uh, cleaned up best I can um, so both real clean ready to be welded so they're just gonna sit on here sit on here just like that um, now I need to go ahead and prep this metal here just need to get that paint off of it and uh, get it ready for uh, ready to be welded so I'm gonna put the, the helmet cam on and knock that out All right, so I got these plates pretty much ready to be welded in. Well, they are ready to be welded in. Um, 
they fit good. So next step is to just get them welded in. Um, but my friend Jake just came over with his his drift beamer he just bought. He's putting in the uh, the harnesses right now so I can uh, go for a ride in it and uh, see how it goes. Because remember, if you watched my uh, earlier in this video, I welded the diff up. So we're gonna see how that works and go for a ride. So let's go. time to get back to work and go ahead and weld these plates in so probably saw already but they are in and ready to be welded so let's get that done All right, so I just got this side welded. Um, turned out pretty good. Welds look pretty good. I did some like a, a hot spot weld technique, which is, um, I feel like the best way to get this thick, thick piece of metal welded to this thinner stuff, especially up here where I had a little bit of a trouble, a little bit of trouble. Um, but as you can see, there's there's penetration on the top and the bottom side i haven't cleaned it up but if i cleaned it up you'd definitely be able to see it uh, that's gonna hold it's gonna be good so this side is done time to move on to the other side all right so i just got done welding the plates in as you saw um came out pretty good i mean just, just covering this area so that the uh the pole, or not the pole, but the part of the roll cage can come to the top of the strut towers. A lot of people do it like this, so I mean, it's pretty common to uh, fill this area, put a plate there, and then uh, get the uh, roll cage connected to it. So, um, give you a little bit of close up here. I'll probably clean up the side a little bit. Um, maybe just kind of take a little grinder just kind of smooth it out a little bit I don't know I might leave it looks pretty good paints gonna make it look I mean when you paint over welds it makes them look 
20 times better and these welds don't look too bad I'm, i mean i'm no professional welder but they don't look too bad with nothing on them but uh, that's where i'm going to end it with this video i'm sorry this video was kind of everywhere and i didn't get too much done um, I'm, I guess some people might make a whole video of just welding those plates in, but I was hoping it would be more, getting maybe the whole roll cage in it. But I also didn't expect changing my mind on going with just the half roll cage. So, um, did what I could. Um, I got some NRG stuff for the steering wheel in, so expect to see maybe... Not an unboxing, but uh, maybe a video of me putting it all together. The short hub, the quick release, and a steering wheel. So expect to see that. And then hopefully next video, I will be getting the cage put in, for real. Um, shouldn't be too much. Um, but I do want to, I'm going to have to wait a little bit because I want to be able to get a seat in there. I want to be able to get a seat in here and a steering wheel and the sh uh, short hub adapter and the quick release and everything to see how far it comes out and a seat and to see where I like it, the seat tilted and everything with the pedals. And I wanna get it in there so I can basically get my seat bolted down where I need it. So then I can build the roll cage where my seat is gonna go because like you can angle the hoop back some or you can scoot, you can scoot the bottom of it up forward on the place or you could move it back which is going to straighter and move it back so there is a, quite a bit of adjustability i can do with the main hoop and i just want to have the the seat in there so i can see where it best best uh fits for me and these are some seat sliders my uh, friend with the beamer gave me because they won't fit in his car so i'm going to see if i can use them and then i'll just buy them off of them um, but i also got some aluminum like c brackets and i'll show you those they can be a c design or a z design and those will bolt from my seat to the floor pan. So I will show you those in the next video. And uh, hopefully we've got a lot in store. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get all that done and uh, bring you guys along. So I appreciate you guys watching this video um, and following the build. So I know it's been quite a while since I posted, so I wanted to kind of show you guys what I've been what I've been doing. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next Fire. one. Thanks.